Deep neural nets have become a powerful alternative for solving inverse problems. Today, for many image processing problems, specially trained deep neural nets have advanced state-of-the-art, often by compelling margins. We ask the following question. Can a single network be used to solve any arbitrary inverse problem? Many image processing problems can be formulated as solving a linear inverse problem where we try to reconstruct the image X from a no noisy linear measurement Y. Despite the simple relationship between X and Y, linear inverse problems are usually extremely difficult to solve due to the underdetermined nature of the problems. Let's consider one example, image in painting. Observe that we can fill in any signal in the blank regions and form a feasible solution, even if they are not valid natural images. To resolve the underdetermined nature of the problem, state-of-the-art algorithms use specially trained deep neural nets to learn the mapping from the measurement Y to the image X. Even though the specially trained networks achieve state-of-the-art results, we need different networks to solve different problems. This becomes very inefficient if we want to incorporate these specially trained networks into portable devices like cell phones. Cell phone cameras need to deal with a variety of image processing problems from image inpainting to demosaicing. To achieve this, we propose a framework that can use a single network to solve any linear inverse problem. This can significantly reduce the cost and complexity of the image signal processor. We are motivated by the simple projected gradient descent algorithm. Suppose we define X as the set of all natural images. Linear inverse problems can be solved by minimizing the norm of Y minus AX subject to the constraint that X is a natural image. A key step in the projected gradient descent algorithm is to project the current estimate onto the set X. Therefore, we propose to learn the projection operator P with a deep neural net. Note that the projection operator is independent of the specific problem we are solving. In order to learn the projection operator P, suppose we have a large image data set. We can perturb the images with random noise to create lots of non-image signals. Then we can train a classifier to approximate the set of natural images, after which we can learn the projection operator P with a deep neural net. Since the projected images will gradually approach the true natural image set during the training process, we use the projected images as the negative examples to train the classifier to refine its decision boundary. This is similar to adversarial learning, a concept that is widely used today in training generative neural networks. Please see the paper for more details. We now look at solutions to different inverse problems using the proposed projection network. On the top, we use a projection network trained on the ImageNet dataset, and at the bottom, we use the projection network trained on the Microsoft Celebrity dataset. First, we consider pixelwise inpainting. On the top, we drop 80% of the pixel values independent to each channel. Now for comparison, we show the bicubic interpolated result in the middle. As can be seen, the recovered image of the proposed method has less artifacts. On the bottom are the results on the Microsoft Celebrity dataset. We can see that the proposed method outperforms the typical wavelet sparsity prior and achieves comparable performance as the specially trained pixelwise inpainting network. Now we show results of block inpainting. This problem is harder because values of consecutive pixels are missing. The results show that the proposed method outperforms bicubic interpolation and the wavelet sparsity prior. Now we show the results of 2x super resolution. These are the results of compressive sensing with 10x compression. Since the linear measurements form a vector, 
we do not plot it in this slide. Note that the same network used in previous slides is capable of solving this problem. This demonstrates the ability of the proposed framework to deal with various input dimensions. In this slide, we compare the robustness to noise in the compressive sensing problem by gradually adding Gaussian noise to the linear measurements. The top row shows the reconstruction of the specially trained compressive sensing network, and the bottom shows the results of the proposed projection network. You can see that even though the specially trained network can achieve very good results in noise-free measurements, the performance starts to degrade rapidly once we introduce measurement noise. While this may be solved by training different networks for different noise levels, it inevitably increases the cost of deploying specially trained networks on portable devices. In comparison, in spite of using just a single network, the proposed method is more robust to noise. Thank you. For more details, please see our paper.